Today in grammar, we're going to do a review of subject pronouns. Remember, pronouns can take the place of nouns. The pronouns he, she, and it name one, and the pronouns we and they name more than one. Let's read the sentences on the screen. Kito and Nan work on an art project. Sam helps. Which pronoun can take the place of Kito and Nan? Kito and Nan, what pronoun are we naming one or more than one? We're naming more than one, so would we use we or they? Right, we could use they instead of Kito and Nan. How about Sam? Which pronoun could take the place Sam, a uh, place of the name Sam? Remember we said he, she, and it name one. What would you put here? Right, he helps. So they work on an art project, he helps. That is one way that we could replace the nouns in the sentences. Let's practice further in your reader's notebook. Page 165 in your reader's notebook is where we're going to practice and review subject pronouns. In the first three, you're going to circle the pronoun that can take the place of the underlined word or words. So just like we just did on um, the screen. So Jack and Fred want to paint. We, they, or he, which word could take the place of the underlined nouns? Right, the pronoun they, so you would circle they. You're going to do the same thing for two and three. And then for four, five, and six, you're going to write he, she, it, we, or they to take the place of the underlined word or words. This time they're not giving you one to circle. You get to choose one and write it on the line. So Jenny went to the art store. We're talking about one, so it's going to be he, she, or it. And we know that Jenny is a girl, so I would use the pronoun she. You'd write it on the line. And then you can reread your sentence, make sure it makes sense. She went to the art store. That makes great sense. So you know you chose the right and proper pronoun to replace that noun. So you're going to do that for four, five, and six. Make sure to have your learning adult check your work.